Alright guys, so welcome back to this uh, other tutorial. Uh, so this part is about the, um, the elevations, um, no, the sections. And so like a promise, you know, I'm not going to be cutting, I'm not going to be uh, shortening any video no matter how long the length is going to take me to do it. So this one is really, 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 really long. Uh, two and a half hours just to get it all completely um, but it's worth it you know some pretty good music in the background uh, I hope you do enjoy it so uh, let me get into it so here's the, uh, the right, video in question back so like I was okay saying, so what can I we get out of it uh, much more just to brush up to and just quickly say a few words uh, about it um, it was pretty tedious in the main video you know you might notice that towards the end i talk a little less you know just because talking for two and a half hours is just not obvious uh so once in a while you're gonna get areas and moments where i'm just gonna be modeling uh and be mostly uh sure quiet uh, inside my modeling okay. experience as a whole uh okay something slowing down there all right let's go so here we go so here in the section because the section contains a lot of crucial detailed information I am very particular about trying to get all the information but also it allows me to see some places where things are a bit you know uh, not exactly aligned not exactly right things that you know only you notice when uh, you model in 2d um, and I want to get as much information, but on this longitudinal section, for example, I'm, I'm going to get the slab out, uh, just the main information, but I'm not going to get all of it because, you know, most of it is, is more, it's more like a duplication, uh, or at least I can refer back to the information on the side. So there's no need to get all of it, but I need to get quite enough of it that I can already work with it you know so that's basically what you're gonna see me export here it just uh, you know it's partially incomplete as you can see it's just uh, the positioning of the column and of the beams <coughs> and um, obviously I forgot to export that as a block so it, it didn't import uh, So in FreeCAD, I am uh, trying to see if I can touch up a few things real quick. Uh, it might be necessary sometimes, maybe not in this in this occasion. Okay, so I'm gonna come back into uh, draft site and basically continue to trace over some of the main elements that I think are. Or directly visual you know that I can uh, refer to and instead of drawing things line by line I am now go, you know I, I draw a lot of polylines this time which are closed shapes because they import as faces uh, not exactly sure why I choose to do it this way but uh, I have a feeling that it could come in handy at, at different times I don't know I guess uh, but I, but if I want to go back to wireframe because I want to uh, uh, model uh, something, you know, I can just change the view mode to wireframe and I can model tr through it. You know, I can see through the the, the, the face. But uh, I can't exactly give you a good reason why I choose to do it that way. I just did. But as you can see, I'm trying to get at uh, at least a few information in the kitchen and the stairs because you know those seems to be a little bit detail information as well uh, 
because you know one of the reasons too is because uh, these are lines and sometimes you know these lines don't mean anything so like okay what am I looking at what exactly am I looking at of course uh, for a train diet everything might be obvious or for the person who designed it everything might be a little bit obvious but for a person who's not trained and who's looking at the drawing directly uh, may not exactly know what lines you know which line means what and so what I'm trying to do here is just capture all of the main information and here for example it's later on that I realize that I'm probably wasting my time trying to get those little lines in between um, uh, those to, to, to show the bricks uh, but once again you know um, you don't know exactly until you find out but you have to try it because that's what informs you about the next step about what's necessary what's not necessary and at what stage of the design uh, what stage of the of the modeling uh, where do you gain speed versus no speed uh, you know places where you will have to do all the manual work it's not because we're working in Freeca that you're not going to be doing some of the manual work you know all of the programs have this stage where you'd have to do a lot of you know manual work you know even though uh, we try hard to automate everything now in this case I decided to select all the, the corrugated roof lines in AutoCAD because you know they were already there they, you know I won't you know I didn't feel like I'm, I'm gonna go inside and draw every arc for the corrugation and copy and all that no 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 i just used the initial one so this is why in the end all my lines are not going to be exactly clean because some some places i must have cheated you know I, I took the autocad initial lines and i exported it directly and if it worked it worked fine it saved me some time um let's see what next so now I am focusing on the next uh, section. So I'm not going to worry about the other sections. I'm just, I'm just going to do one section, the one with the most information, uh, which seems to be this one. So I'm just going to draw above everything. So when I was modeling this I noticed that there were a lot of places where the lines were not exactly straight uh, and the, even the, uh, the placement of some of these um, wood on the roof. So for somebody like me who is not exactly sure what I'm working on at this point sometimes you know those lines that are not accurate makes it a bit like you you know makes you a bit uncertain about what it is this is why i, I draw everything but uh, hopefully when i'll be modeling it in 3d i'll be able to have a better appreciation of what exactly i was looking at whether or not they are accurate whether or not they are not accurate um, but for now i just grab all the information some of them are straightforward but some of sometimes you know you would see a very gentle offset between two lines and you wonder art you know where does the other line come from what does that rep represent and stuff like that um, and for the toilet you know uh, probably wasted a little bit of time on the toilet trying to model a bit uh, but I should have just probably uh, focus on the outline but because this it you know this gave me uh, a sense of the level of detail that you see on this level I thought maybe why not capture that and see how eventually when we get to that stage of the modeling how can we uh, create uh, some fixtures that identify things in much the same way as this initial uh, pass. And obviously it's theirs as well. A lot of information in the windows, lots of information. You want to capture that as well. <coughs> okay. 
All right. So that's about it. Uh, so the rest is just basically straightforward. So 